Alright, guys, drone station. Power shut down. Yeah, that's typical, isn't it? We all know how to work the drone station, don't we? So I'm going to pick that up. This video is not about the drone station. Power's back up again. Um, I'm going to go and dump this stuff in here. Um, this video is a quick one about this stuff over here. Plasma quartz. Pulsar quartz. Get it right, Bob. Yeah, Bob's got a code. But, um, yeah, if you want to know about a drone station, pop on to my channel and have a look. I've got 27,000 views on it, um, so it can't be that bad. Um, Pulsar Quartz. I'm having a job to find Pulsar Quartz. Now, I have found two places where you can now find Pulsar Quartz. Uh, one of them is down there, and one of them is over there. So, if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, you do have coordinates. So, if you go by the coordinates that um, I'm at the place. So basically, let's jump down here. If you've got to the stage now where you need Pulsar Quartz, this sort of place should now be open. So if we go down to here, there's a little cave just up there. And there's 10 Pulsar Quartz in both of these places. So go past this dome that is, is not built by me. That is a, a, a random dome that has been there from day one. This is the massive sinkhole, but up here, now you can see where we are, my base is up there, look, we're down in the massive sinkhole, and there is a cave just here, and this cave, trust me, is full of Pulsar Quartz, now you can see it shining down there, look, I've had it all, so there's none in here, um, but I want to show you where it was, there's a few other bits and pieces in here, it goes a long way, um, it goes round in circles, Hydra, yes, we'll have some of that. It goes round in circles, it doesn't go anywhere, it's just an open, or, or, or closed rather, a closed cave. So if you keep running, you, you'll find your way out. This way somewhere. There we go, we're out. So that is one of the places I have now found Pulsar Quartz. And you can see where I am, you can see the Cinco, and you can see, bottom left hand corner, is the coordinates of where I am. That's a good thing because if I move those coordinates change look. So the second one, let me get back up to my house and I'll show you exactly where the second one is. And uh, yeah, I haven't collected that one yet so you can see that one in all its glory. Hopefully, can I scale this wall? No, I can't, right. Hang with me, I'll see you when I get up there. Right, so here we are back up my base. Uh, right there where my marker is pointing, that is where that first Pulsar Quartz cave is. Because you can't mine this stuff, you have to find it. Eventually you'll be able to make it, um, but it's not actually in the um, stage where I can make it yet. It's not here, so I need to find it. So the second location I found for Pulsar Quartz is you know where my base is it's up here it's above the big sinkhole looking at the nice waterfalls blah 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 this is the base um water collectors over there we've got all that over there going on down here is the workshop with the auto crafters in here is the um bacteria and stuff over here we've got the three domes the butterflies the wood down here, we've got a few storage cabinets. We've got some incubators. Uh, so this is the lab, basically. Um, so let's get on to, and there's my control center. Let's get on to the other Pulsar Quartz. Now, I think by now, if you're at the stage where I am looking for Pulsar Quartz, because like when I tried to put that drone station down, um, I lost power. Now, the only way I can make decent power these days, where am I going? The only way I can make decent power these days is the nuclear fusion, which needs six pulsar quartz. So if you just come down your ramp, then drop down here, and we're going to the underground facility. Whoa. Ow. Broke my leg. All right. Fine. Leg mended. Um, we've got a nice lot of vines coming down. So if we go in here, and down here, I think keep going down and down and down that's filled with water now I'm pretty sure everybody knows where this is um, you find this fairly early game when the ice is melting 
So you've got a load of goodies here. This is where the rocket's stuck in the ceiling. Over there, look. Uh, and there's a rocket down there and a bit of a base. Down here is a biodome. Now, I was going to mark it with beacons, but I've marked it with sheds instead. <laughs> I don't like the beacons. I wish you could turn them off and turn them on when you needed them. But if you know where this biome is here, which I'm pretty sure most people do by now, if you go straight past this biome, carry on south, go up this little ramp, and we should see another shed. There's another shed. So, you can see the biome from here, look. You can see my coordinates. So I've got a shed built there. These sheds I've only built for markers, all right? So we're into the red area where we've got a lot of uh, iridium and the volcano area. But if you pass this shed, there's a little walkway here. And beyond this little walkway is a cave. And this cave is full of pulsar quartz. Don't stand on that because you'll fry. Look. Ow! Burnt me air. Right, I need that. <laughs> so yeah, you've got another 10 or so pulsar quartz in here. So like I say, this is a, a one-off delivery, <coughs> pardon me, because uh, this stuff does not grow back. Uh, you cannot mine it. You can find the odd cave with it in, uh, but eventually you'll be able to make it. And I'm pretty sure that's probably all she wrote. Let's see if there's one behind here. Nope. There's one. Yeah, so basically that's where it is. Uh, what did I get? I got another two, four, six, eight, nine. I think I picked one up the other day when I came across it, but I wanted to uh, show everybody where it was because these little nooks are not easy to find. Um, that looks like you could go under there, doesn't it? I mean, you can. Uh, new blueprint, the butterfly display box. Yeah, well, I need butterflies first. What's that? Uncommon? Yeah. Right, so yeah. Basically, that's it. That's that's where you find your pulsar quartz. And uh, head home is just the reverse of coming out this way. Go back down to that dome, which is all the way over here. And then climb back up through past the other bits and pieces. So, yeah, I've got sheds everywhere because they're so easy to build. But I don't need them anymore because uh, I've got permanent oxygen now, which, which is a good thing. So go past this biodome, jump back up over here. <coughs> and head back home. Trying to do this with the flu is a complete nightmare. Right, I'll leave it there. <coughs> like I say, work your way back outside. Wherever you live. Um, I happen to live up the top of here. It's a beautiful plateau up here, lovely and smooth. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it there, guys. That's where you find the pulsar quartz. Have a good one, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye for now.